Hey, good morning, garden family. It's your girl, Lisa. I was out in my garden poking around and see if I can find me some breakfast. I got me some nice little cherry tomatoes for breakfast. And I was checking out my peppers and, and things and checking out my poor little squash plant. Do you know I found another bugger in there? I think I had to, um, oops, sorry. Had to um, pack it again right there. Yeah, it's still trying. Like I said, it's giving me nice new blossoms, but it, I think it's gonna be stunted. It hasn't grown much more out from that spot there, but we'll see. We'll, 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 we'll keep hope alive. Anyway, um, you know, check it for cucumbers and things like that. I got one down here. I think that'll be ready tomorrow. I don't know if you can see that. Sorry about the shade. The sun's still behind me. Um, yeah, I think he'll be ready tomorrow to pick there. You know, checking out my peppers and my tomatoes and things like that. It's a bit of a jungle back here. Hey, look, had a bee going to work. I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Mr. B or Mrs. B. There's another one over there. Hey, thank you, Mr. B, Mr. B. Giving me my fruit. Appreciate you. Um, Peter looking pretty good. He's starting to pop a little bit. Starting to get that characteristic bend on the end. <laughs> we'll do more on that later when they start to turn red. Anyway, I was over here looking, you know, at my basil and other things, my peppers, and then I noticed that right there. Those are hornworm droppings. And I already caught the bugger and cut him off, but he was on my peppers. This is the first year that I'm aware of that I've ever noticed on my peppers. Um, found two earlier this week on my tomatoes. So I caught them early and they were all way up here. So that's good. You can always see them way up here. Um, but never have I seen them on peppers. I wish I had my video camera so you could see. He was about inch and a half, maybe two inches. Um, pretty happily eating along because he was pretty thick and round. But yeah. <laughs> Now I'm gonna to have to watch my peppers. <laughs> but it's all good. It's part of the garden of fun to get out here and play adventurer and see what you can find and all of this stuff. So but as you can see my peppers are coming on pretty good. Despite the um matter of fact I'm gonna knock this down in the ground. That's um uh, nitrogen <laughs> for my Scotch bonnets. Yeah. He uh he obviously likes some Scotch bonnets because that's the one he was nipping on. Um Got some ghost peppers Oops. down there, and my uh, cayenne starts coming in pretty good. Cayenne, cayenne, yeah. Cayenne's are coming in pretty good there. <clears throat> oh, and I got a uh, nice surprise down here. Um, oh, by the way, this vine right here you can see coming out here, I don't remember which video it was but there was one I was talking about a, a purple yam that's what this is it's finally starting to make its vine out it did send a vine up here that was the vine that I actually um, grew while I was in the fish tank and I wound it up over here and then keeping the shade on it because I didn't know how it you know wanted sun or anything like that I buried it down here with my other peppers and it started to put on leaves down here in the grounds, which tells me that it's trying to, uh, not the board, yeah, there you go. It's trying to put leaves down here, which tells me that it's actually putting on some um, tubers. I don't know how big the tubers would be, but it's trying. It's trying to grow underground, and it's sending out this nice vine down here. So, yay for the yam. But I wanted to show you this real pretty pepper. It's called a violet sparkle, I think. There you go. Isn't it pretty? I got four of them there, and I'm starting to get some fish peppers down here. Yeah. The, the, like I said, after the summer solstice, when 
even though it's still hot, the sun is starting to move further away, so it's not as scorching. That's when you start getting your second flesh of uh, um, produce <laughs> coming on. These are midnight snacks. I'm just waiting for those to turn red. They're starting to take on their um, uh, blue shoulders, but now I'm just waiting for them to turn red and finish up. So yay on those, but yeah, got some more. And um, oops, got some more starting to blush down there. Some more, um, oh, I forgot what cherries these are. I gotta look at my little book, but yeah, they, they're starting to get some blushing going on down there. So that's great. All right, now I'm going to enjoy my breakfast and I will see you guys on the flip side. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye.